Hello, and welcome to Uncle Bruce's story time. Did you? Did everyone have a good Mother's Day yesterday? A belated Happy Mother's Day to all the lovely mothers out there. So this week, we have a very brand new book. So most of you probably haven't heard of it. It's only about two months old. It was just published, and it's called. Meet the Dullards, the Extra Boring Edition by Sarah Pennypacker. It's a fun one, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's very brand new, so we'll see how I do at reading this one. I haven't spent much time with it, so we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. All right, I'm Uncle Bruce, and it's story time. Meet the Dullards, the Extra Boring Edition by Sarah Pennypacker. One day, Mr. and Mrs. Dullard received quite a nasty surprise. The Dullards collected the books and handed their children some nice blank paper to read instead. Then they left the room to discuss the problem in private. This was not the first time their children had given them a shock. Last week they had asked to go to school, and just the day before Mr. Dullard had caught them trying to play outside. Mrs. Dullard shook her head sadly. Where did we go wrong? Now, now, Mr. Dullard comforted his wife. It can't be our fault. We're perfectly dull. Perhaps it's this place, he said. Last fall, remember, some leaves turn color. And now this, he pointed to an upsetting commotion in the driveway. There's never a dull moment. You may be right. It's like a circus around here, Mrs. Dullard agreed. This is no place to raise Blanda, Borley, and Little Dud. So the Dullards packed up their three dull children, and all their dull things, and moved. Just as they brought the last box into their new home, a lady came to the door. Welcome to the neighborhood, she said. I baked you an applesauce cake. Please don't use exclamation marks in front of our children, said Mr. Dullard. Mrs. Dullard. Smooth or chunky applesauce, asked Mr. Dullard. Chunks are so unpredictable, so nerve-wracking. I'm sorry, said the neighbor lady. It was chunky. Goodbye, said the Dullards, shutting the door. Well, I never, they heard a neighbor lady muttering as she carried her cake away. Well, we never either, said Mr. Dullard. That's how we kept, keep our family so dull. You children need to calm down after all that excitement, said Mrs. Dullard. Go watch the television. Mr. and Mrs. Dullard finished unpacking all their dull things. Ah, uh, this place feels more boring already, said Mr. Dullard. But then... On the way to the paint store, the Dullards spotted an ice cream stand. Mr. Dullard ordered the, their usual. Five vanilla cones, please. Hold the cones and extract the vanilla. But all that would be left is plain ice cream, the clerk said. Yes, that's correct, said Mr. Dullard. At the paint store, Mr. Dullard suggested a medium gray. Too risky, Mrs. Dullard decided. Gray is the color of highways, and highways could make the children think about going somewhere. How about beige? Out of the question, said her husband. Beige reminds me of clay. The children might think of that and, he put his hand to his heart, want to make something. In the end, they told the clerk to mix the gray paint and the beige paint together, and the new color was indeed perfectly dull, like oatmeal left in the pot. After they finished painting the room, Mr. and Mrs. Dullard tried not to look at the walls, but it was no use. They were completely mesmerized. All day long, the Dullards watched the paint dry. Finally, Mr. Dullard tore his gaze away. I think, he began. Mrs. Dullard shook her head. No thinking. She reminded her husband. It sets a bad example for the children. And speaking of the children, where are they? I can't imagine what came over them, Mr. Dullard said as he herded the children safely back inside. 
Perhaps it's this new home. It's terribly exciting. You may be right. It's like a circus around here, Mrs. Dullard agreed. This is no place to raise Blanda, Borley, and Little Dud. So the Dullards packed up their three dull children and all their dull things and moved back. That night, Mr. and Mrs. Dullard fell asleep right away, secure in the knowledge that their children were perfect bores. The end. Well, how about that book? Did you like that one? That was fun. They sure are boring though, but the children, they weren't having any of it. They wanted to go and have fun while the parents were super boring. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's, the, that's it for this week. Um, if you'd like a copy of this one, even though it's brand new, there is a link down below to the book on Amazon and links to follow me, of course, on the, the various social thingies. Um, do subscribe if you haven't and give the video a thumbs up. And I uh, will see you next week, all right? As always, read more books and be good to each other.